Namaste, my beautiful queens. I continue working against myself here. Um, for those of you who know me, you already know me. For those of you who never seen me before, not just I am a tarot a reader, a writer. I am also trying to make videos. I consider myself the most honest reader uh, on YouTube. You know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you can throw, uh, we have this expression, uh, throw slippers into my head. But I consider myself brutally honest and I consider this is the only way to be. Uh, but I continue making video. <clears throat> And I have been inspired by uh, Dr. Ramani, by uh, Ross Rosenberg, by other writers, but uh, mostly I was uh, inspired by um, the uh, writer and researcher of manipulation, um, uh, amazing writer, creator of three novels uh, devoted to freedom of manipulation, Anna Baginskaya. Her books are being translated into English now. I will share them with you when I have, uh, when they are available. But here is very, very, very easy, easy ways because some of you write to me write emails to me telling me well you know i am a simple girl i didn't know all those things i am convinced these are the things you must teach in schools literally if if only mothers was teaching these simple things to their daughters if this this is what we must be taught in school because these beasts which are doing this all to us, unfortunately, they are, um, they are also a product of, uh, of our, our environment, of society. So many of you telling me, uh, listen, I don't have time to read books. I don't have time to read articles. I don't really believe in it. You know, you have your phone, you have all this Google and YouTube there. You can't get this information. But some of you say, you know, I, I have to study for 10 years and or read 45, it's book, 45 books to know if I am being manipulated or not, uh, if I am being used or not, if I am being lied to or not. I will give you three simple words which always will show you if you are being manipulated and also eight very simple ways and I will explain them to you uh, for you to know for sure you are being manipulated you are being used you are being lied to and I said in my previous uh, videos any manipulation is psychological abuse. Psychological abuse is absolutely forbidden. And if you think it, it is a little better than physical abuse, when you are living under psychological abuse, first you develop mental issues, uh, psychological issues, uh, spiritual issues, then you start developing issues physically as insomnia, anxiety, panic attacks, and feeling nothing, feeling powerless, feeling not capable of anything, because manipulation is abuse. Still, it's very evil abuse. And any manipulator, any manipulator, I am completely agree with Anna Baginska, who says any manipulator, narcissist, any type of narcissist, any type of manipulator is a psychopath. Professionals don't agree with that, and we know that, but she consider any manipulator a psychopath, and I am absolutely, I absolutely agree. They all psychopaths because they manipulate, they know what they're doing, they slowly destroying you. They don't feel empathy, compassion, they're destroying you, and they know they're destroying you, and they just do it. This is normal person with compassion kindness care will not do it so let's just go straight to it you can see manipulation if you are being manipulated with this simple very simple three words inconsistency suspense or obscurity 
and uncertainty. So in simple words, you don't know what the heck is going on, who you are to him, who he is to you, when you're going to know something about it, where is it going, why he behaves this way, why this is happening, where it is all leading you, all the three words. If you have issues understanding these words, it's very easy. You go Google and put there inconsistency, suspense of, or obscurity, and uncertainty. These three words, if you experience simply these three words, all the manipulation, you don't have to read 45 books of psychology or spent five years studying psychology. All the manipulation can be put into three words, inconsistency, suspense or obscurity, and uncertainty. So, these are three words. If you have it in your relationship, you are being, uh, there is expression taken for a ride or manipulated. So, now let us go to the simple eight methods which manipulator uses with you. This is simple. No matter what is your upbringing, no matter how old you are, no matter where you are in the world, if this person uses this type of things on you, you are being a manipulator. They're manipulated. First one, the, the very first one, very simple one, which is weight. He makes you wait. It's funny. Sometimes it looks innocent. Manipulator makes you wait. For example, you're supposed to meet him in a restaurant. Uh, he's always, always, always late. Even if you agreed to meet, he will be late for 45 minutes, for an hour, for a couple of hours. But if, if you are, he told you he's going to come uh, at 6 p.m., he's going to come close to midnight. And some of them, <clears throat> uh, what happens? They do it in purposely. Not, don't believe whatever they are going to tell you. Uh, they do it in purposely. Why they do it? Because this method of manipulation is written in any book um, on dark manipulation you can get or dark psychology. Make them wait. What happens when he makes you wait? Very easy. What do you do when you are waiting for him? For example, he said he's going to come at 6 p.m. You spent 12 hours doing makeup. Um finding the dress, covering yourself with, I don't know, perfumes, um, setting the table with candles or something, something. What do you do when you are waiting for him? You think about him. The more he makes you think about himself, the more he creates emotional dependency. The more emotional dependency he creates, the more you become a slave of his. Also, when he makes you wait, he puts you down. What it means? The one who waits is lower than him. So he already puts you to the level of his feet and put himself on pedestal. Also, you see, it looks innocent. No, it's not innocent at all. Waiting is preparing you for heavier methods of manipulation. Slowly, by being late, every single time he tells you he would come, sometimes he doesn't come at all, and then he bullshits you about how busy he was, and he drops his phone from Niagara waterfall and couldn't get it. He slowly makes you obey, makes you his slave. Method of manipulation number two, out of reach. There was a man who um, was so, uh, so weird sense of humor when he died. He told uh, his uh, friends to make him 
uh, the uh, gravestone looking like a cell phone and a cell phone must have said they're out of reach the party is out of reach so out of reach very widely used method he's out of reach he is always out of reach for example he has restricted number like movie stars have they sometimes call you it says restricted you answer he doesn't answer nothing you like hello 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 then he just clicks and he doesn't tell you anything but uh, on a level of subconscious and some of you with psychic abilities you know it was him but uh um you doubt when you doubt and you again we having here inconsistency obscurity and uncertainty you don't know what's going on you don't know if it what it was him or it was somebody else if it was him why he called if he called and it was him why he didn't say anything why he didn't say maybe i did something wrong it's called self gas lighting so out of reach uh, he can be out of reach always or he can be out of reach from time to time so how does it um, how does it work mm, he uh, lives kind of in your thoughts in your mind in your dreams constantly but he's physically absent please remember this word physically absent for those of you who have this so-called relationship i call it in commas relationship with a man on another continent thinking that i've been with him in relationship i got this email for 10 years different continents and sh the woman still believes something's going to happen 10 years they've been having this long distant relationship and and she still believes something's going to happen nothing's going to happen if within a year nothing happened within 50 years nothing's going to happen so out of reach he's physically absent excuse he can give you oh, i am very busy i'm so busy i'm so busy i am so damn busy then if you check his words every time you check the words of manipulator his words never come together with actions it's a lie the message here for you why he's out of reach why he does it why manipulator is out of reach very simple fight for me fight for my attention fight for meeting me fight for spending some time with me the center of universe the king of the world having me even for a minute should be your biggest reward i am your biggest treasure many use this method of manipulation when they want you to do something for them of course narcissist manipulator he has only one goal with you your resource i already explained many times resource can be anything but the victim always have to be resourceful your talent your ideas your um abilities to find clients your abilities to write poems your abilities or psycho emotional comfort whatever resource he sees in you he will use it so sometimes out of reach he does when he wants you to do his job or to do something for him so i'm so busy i'm so busy i'm so busy until you say oh let me help you with your project oh no no i don't think so i don't want to be a headache i don't want to be a pain in the neck are you sure you don't you want to do it okay so he is out of reach he's busy 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 because he wants you to do something for him or specifically do their job so what's going to happen when you end up doing it for him while he's somewhere out of reach at the beginning he will thank you oh what would i do without you my love oh your biggest uh, luck in my life i am so i've seen your whatever i i knew your face before i knew your name whatever then he will just take it as it is he will take it for granted later on if you dare to refuse do something for him or what he will want he will be out of reach and he will turn cold cold as ice 
Every time you do not want to do what a manipulator wants, he will disappear. He will be out of reach and you're going to start doing self gas lighting you're gonna start thinking what did i do what did i do maybe i overreacted maybe i should maybe he has maybe i should have just done what he told me my god they make me sick these manipulators they make me sick to my stomach girls so whenever you don't obey you're gonna be punished by being out of reach or by him being cold and when you obey He's going to come back and be hot. When you don't obey, he's going to be out of reach and get cold. Okay? Everything is done for making you do what he wants when he wants it, how he wants it. Every time you're going to say no, he's going to be out of reach. And uh, when you say yes and do what he wants, he will reward you with his majesty attention, with his smile or with his time or whatever. When you do what he wants, he gets closer. He allows you to get closer. This is how he trains you to do what he wants, when he wants it and how he wants it get it already number three pretends to be sick he could be out of reach and he pretends to be sick interesting thing they very often do that uh could be the reason he is out of reach um what happens when he pretends to be sick you have to know that he is working on another victim while still having you on the hook um he writes messages to you i feel so horrible i have such a flu i'm coughing the doctor prescribed me cough syrup i think i'm gonna die i have a fever but while why you know this is bullshit if you offer to come to him he is not going to let you by telling you, oh, no, no, please don't come. Please don't come. I don't want you to see me this way. I don't want you to get sick as well. If you keep on calling, he's not going to answer. If he calls you back later and you're going to tell him why you didn't answer your phone, he's going to tell you he was sleeping. But if you drive to his place and get to his place and you're going to see his car there, you're going to knock the door, he might be with another woman there, he's not going to open to you because he's with somebody else or he's not going to be at home. But if he is home, he's not going to open to you. If you later ask him why you didn't open the door, he's going to tell you he took sleeping pills and fell asleep and he heard nothing. So... Number four, very, another uh, part, another method, which you will find in every dark psychology book, carrot. Sometimes they call it a carrot and a stick, but a carrot. What, how he does it? He makes you believe at the beginning, especially of your relationship. He makes you believe that he wants exactly what you want. That he is your Prince Charming. He is a knight in shining armors. You want kids, he wants kids. You want to climb Everest, he wants to climb Everest. There, what, how do you know? Because very often you ask me, how do I know that he's lying. I repeat and I repeat and I repeat myself. Actions of manipulators don't come with their words. They are no masters of their words. Simply, if you check his words, they never gonna become true. He tells you he worships his mother, for example. For two, three months, he tells you he worships his mother. Then you decide to go to his mother to visit her, to visit a woman your man worships. You come to his mother, you, you're going to find a woman in poverty, and she's going to tell you she saw him last two years ago. Whenever he bullshits you, if you put what he tells you to a checkpoint, it's not gonna happen. 
He will tell you, he will tell you, then you go and check it, and it's going to be a total lie. Their words never come together with their actions. So he just wants your resource. He just wants you to do what he wants, when he wants it, and how he wants it. So, carrot. Uh, <clears throat> so he tells you that he... Uh, he makes you believe he wants just the same things he, he you do. Uh, so um, then what happens later? Uh, later when he doesn't do what he promised you to do because he start giving you promises. You might tell yourself, but he promised me. He promised me he'll do it. Maybe I just have to wait. So usual thing he will tell you if you ask him. Uh, when is going to happen what you promised me? And what happens? How, how do they talk, the carrot? How does the carrot work? You know, when, uh, when as soon as I get my project finished, I promise you we're going to go to Paris or whatever. As soon as I change my job, as soon as I get a race, then we're going to buy a house together and we will be living together. As soon as I get Pulitzer Prize, as soon as I will, no, I will, I will, I will, I win a Nobel Prize, you know, or I get an Oscar, as soon as... I will be together with you as soon as we will live together, as soon as we will buy a house, as soon as we will, I will take you to Paris. He does this. It called carrot. So, married men, of course, their excuses are so the same that they have to already come up with something else. It's amazing. When my, when my grandson when my grandson retires, pretty much, uh, as I call it, you know, married man, when Jesus comes back to, to earth or Buddha, Muhammad, Krishna, Moses uh, or Shiva is going to be dancing on the street, then, then we're going to get married. So carrot, carrot is just to make you believe as soon as he's going to be with you. But, but, as soon as you start asking him when, honey, when, when, when it's going to happen, um, he's going to keep on giving you these excuses because never it's going to happen. He can, he can tell you, I will take you there. I will do this. I will buy a house, blah, blah, blah. You have to understand that the carrot, again, promises he has zero intentions to keep. Their words never come together with their actions. Remember that. So, later, he starts demanding, if you don't do this, you know what? If you don't do what I want, then we'll never get married. If you don't obey me and do this and this and this, don't complain that we cannot be together because it's all because of you. Don't be surprised if your dream can't come true. It's all your fault. It's all your fault. Everything is your fault. So the horrific stories I had seen in my practice with people, a woman tries her best. He sacrifices her entire life to help him achieve his goal. You know what happens when he does achieve his goal? Farewell and goodbye. He's going to find himself another victim. And he's going to bullshit another victim or people around him. That he achieved everything in life just by himself. No one never helped him. He was completely alone. He just was climbing this ladder using his the catastrophic hard work of course the woman who helped him getting there she's never going to be mentioned and such woman is being left behind and such woman is sitting and crying with her girlfriends and girlfriends tell her let him realize what he lost 
He's never going to realize nothing. He was using you until you brought him, but he wanted you to bring him. Then he's going to leave you and get himself another victim. Remember, the words never comes with actions. Number five, another method of manipulation using third party. Bringing a third party into, if he already has a wife, that makes it very, very easy. But he, even if he doesn't have a wife, if he is not married, he still can use third party. How does it sound? It's very, very easy. Sarah would do that for me. My wife would never say that. You know, my wife would support me. Jessica would, underst would understand. Melanie would totally agree with me in here why this is done. This makes you want to compete for him, the king of universe. This makes you want to prove him I'm better than his wife. I'm better than his wife. I'm better than his wife. I'm better than Sarah, Jessica, Melanie, Alicia, continue till eternity. He is a treasure box. He presents himself as a treasure box. Everyone wants him, so he makes you believe that you must deserve him. You must win him. You must, 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 must. You must obey and do what he wants, when he wants, how he wants it. So, number six, sex as an award widely used method of manipulation humongously used method of manipulation dr ramani has intimacy manipulation video so very good working method uh, at the beginning he gives it a lot to you and you are like i don't know having um a having yourself on a cloud you think that it's the best sex in your life that you are you are amazing so what happens next and he gives it to you less and less and less he trains you to obey then then he started using it as manipulation so he was giving to you a lot at the beginning uh, then he start giving it to you whatever once a month, once in two months, once in three months, and you going bananas. You don't know what to do. You don't know what to think. You start being so because this puts you down. Nothing affects a woman as much as a man refusing from making love to her. Now you think that you're fat. You think that you need to lose weight. You think you need to put I don't know breast implants. You think you need to go blondie or you you need to. I I don't know do what and he tells you he doesn't give you no reasons he just tells you he's tired then you start thinking he has somebody he manipulates you and when you do what he wants then he rewards you with sex and when you don't do what he wants when he wants and how he wants it he withdraws himself from you and pretends that he's fine everything is fine but it's just he's tired and this is a method of manipulation number seven uh everything is to make you obey number seven fault this method is used always this is your fault all problems are from you he cultivates guilt Guilt, 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 guilt. Every manipulator cultivates this gift, guilt feeling of guilt in you. Whenever he tries to make you guilty, he's manipulating you. Okay? Number eight, devalue. Devalue anything you say is stupid. Everything you do is stupid. Everything you are is stupid. Putting you down, lowering your self-esteem, lowering your self-esteem, constant devalue. You don't understand. You're saying nonsense. This is bullshit. You don't know what the, the hell you're talking about. You need to read some books. You need to go to a therapist. You're crazy. You're seeing things which are not there. Devalue, devalue. It's also called gaslighting. Please be careful. He is constantly non-logical he makes you feel confused he makes you feel 
Fear, doubts, guilt. Fear, doubts, guilt. Fear, doubts, guilt, hope. Things are going to change. Fear, doubts, guilt, hope. Fear, doubts, guilt, hope. That's it. You're stuck. And the longer you stay with such a beast, the more you lose yourself and when you lose yourself you are becoming you are becoming a slave do you girls like to be a slave as you see it's not that hard to see manipulation my beautiful queens inconsistently suspense obscurity uncertainty Fight for yourself. Fight for your freedom. And remember, this has nothing to do with love. Nothing to do with love. Love feels good. Love means actions of this man with care, compassion, kindness, and honesty. If you do not free yourself, He's going to keep on manipulating you until you have no more resource and he's going to dump you and find himself another victim. Fight for your freedom. Self-love, self-respect, self-value. Put yourself on a pedestal. Then you're going to be protected from this. Namaste.